welcome back to another video for Nash Fan 77 plays MC and today we are going to be doing the top four zombie maps in Exo Zombies. And yes, as you know that the or as most of you know, the newest DLC was just recently released like three days ago. It's called Descent and is based on Atlantis. It's a very good map and I suggest you go check it out. And if you didn't buy it yet, you should, especially if you're a good zombie player, because there's a lot of good Easter eggs there, and it makes the game much more fun. Okay, so now let's get on to our top four details. A quick honorable mention to a number five spot in Riot. As much as Riot was pretty fun, it's sad that it was only one round, and I wish that they would have made it more than just that one round, and they could have made it like a full-on map. Okay, so now to our number four spot, we have Burger Town, aka Infection. And uh, the reason I didn't, most people just hated this map just straight up, and I didn't hate it. I I liked it kind of. I liked all the maps kind of, except for my top two. I love those two, but the thing that was good about this map is that at the beginning. That, oh, sorry, I'm like really talking boringly and this must not be entertaining. But one thing that I did like is that the, there's that alligator and that's like a very cool feature that they added. And I also like that they uh, added like uh, that boss. I know I'm talking and saying like a lot, but you know what? Sometimes you got a deal. deal. So I like how they added the uh, the boss as much as I hated it. <laughs> but it was like a good idea. It was something they could build around and make it better. But tips that this map could have been really, 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 really good is that the map outline was pretty cool, but they just messed up. Let's give some tips. Number one tip for Burger Town. Why does there have to be a toxic gas that goes around and just basically ends all training areas when you're just training there and they just end it? Like, no. My next tip for Burger Town is why does like every single round have to be a boss round with the dogs, with the big Goliath guy, with the saving a guy, with the whatever. And my next tip for Burger Town is that why when you do try to save that guy or the girl or whatever, I don't know if it's a guy or girl, I haven't played that in a while, that map, but when you try to save that human why, when it doesn't work out in sync, when you play on solo, it's hard to do on solo, but even in groups, when you try and it doesn't work, why do they have to lose all the power? That's so annoying. It just gives you extra 100 points every once in a while, and it's just a time consuming. You just save a crawl and you go do it. There's no point to it. And it's really annoying. What they should do is just say, no bad thing, which, of course, if you do that, then no one will want to do it. But just make, if you do it, you get a really, really good reward. One better than just one single weapon upgrade. Maybe you get, like, a max ammo. And you get a weapon upgrade on both of your thing guns or something like that. That could have made the map much more enjoyable. And my final, uh, my final hint or tip for this map is why does every door have to be so expensive? Like, in order to get to the mystery box, you have to open, like, two doors. And they're both, like, 1,500. <laughs> and to get to the Burger Town, you have to pay, like, five $2,000 doors. It's incredible. Why? I don't want to waste all my money on that. And, oh, wait, any quick throwing tip for that boss that I was talking about? He, he he has to be, like, his own round. Like, I hate that there were other zombies chasing me when I was trying to shoot him with a crossbow. Not cool, Sledgehammer. Not cool. Okay, so we get on to another three spot. And here we have uh, good old Carrier. Now, I think most people have Carrier as their number three or something like that. Number three, number two. I have Carrier as my number three. And now, 
Why do I have KOU as my number three, you might ask? Well, I didn't play KOU that much, so I'm just going to be straight up and say I don't... This map had potential, I think, if I just got to learn the map more, but I never bothered. I never got the LZ Limbo after playing like 50 times in a row, so I just gave up on the whole map in general. But other than that, not getting the Limbo, the map definitely had some things that I didn't like. First of all, when you go... I, okay, wait. First, first thing I say the things I liked. Throwing that grenade into that thing was the coolest idea ever. Because <laughs> I never use my grenades that often, and now I, I, I got to put them to use so that they weren't being wasted. Now, the thing I hated is in that same room that the grenade thing is, if you don't have an exosuit yet, you can't go back up. So, basically, you have to survive with just... You got a weapon upgrade station there, which is good. You got the mystery box there. You don't have any perks though, and the door, the two doors are pretty expensive each. Well, one's seven fifty, but one of them's like two thousand. And you, you just don't want to spend that much sometimes. You're like, chill out, bro. I, I don't got all the cash money in the world on round three to go get my exosuit. So that, that, that's definitely not a good thing that they did. But another thing that I thought was a cool idea is they brought back that old side of the route with the two people spawning one side, two on the other. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. But on solo, I wish you could start on the other side because I like that other side so much better. And I'm not really a fan of the side that's not like connected to the outdoors. I like I like the side connected to the outdoors is what I'm trying to say. So, if you feel me, make sure you put a like and you comment how I can improve my videos. Like by not saying like, like 50, like million, like times. Yeah, I just pissed you off right there. Okay, so getting on to a number two spot. Most of you know that the next two maps are Outbreak and Descent. And coming in my number two spot will be Descent. As much as I did love Descent, I've only played this a few times, meaning that I just came out. But the Easter eggs are such a good idea. And just when you go outside and you go into the water, you see the sharks. You just feel so cool. You feel like, this is this is good. And I also love the storyline like coming to an end in Descent. So that definitely like helped the map be good. And I Exo Stockpile, which was introduced in Carrier, is I never used it in Carrier because I never found it like a you need. Because I never found myself running out of ammo because I just use wall weapons mostly in Carrier. But on this map, Exo Stockpile is so helpful. Increased ammo size, increased grenade size. It, it's 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 the good life. You need Exo Stockpile on this map. But one thing that really set this map apart is that. The Juggernaut is so far away, and it's so confusing. It took me like 5 million years to find where it was. And when I did, I was basically screwed because I was trapped in the corner buying it or something. Like, I was trapped against the wall. So it didn't work out too well. But, or at least the last time, not the recorded time. The one you're seeing on your screen, that's not the same gameplay that I got trapped. But, one thing that this map just did, right, is it, it just, it feels kind of like you're playing zombies except you have exosuits on and the zombies are faster than you but it kind it felt like the zombie feel it so felt like it could have been a zombie map it's also a lot like this custom map that i play which i know other youtubers have played too and i forgot what it's called but it's like an underwater map and this kind of like is a lot like it and it's good that's a good custom zombie map this is a good map they should be friends now getting on to a number one spot well, I wonder what it could be. Could it be Outbreak? Yes, it can. And I I really liked Outbreak. And I know most people are going to say, Oh, no, Outbreak was terrible. What are you talking about? Descent all the way. Carry all the way. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Well, and you few, very, very few Burger Town fans. Uh, that one thing that I like about Outbreak is that the original map always ends up being good. And I was so hyped for this map to come out. So when I came out, it was like, it was something. So I got to play something when I was waiting for zombies. It, it was it was the answer to all zombies. It wasn't good, but it was a time, it was, it was a good time filler. It was a fun time to play. And one thing I like is that there were so many training spots. You very rarely found yourself 
stuck in a corner. The trash chutes were a brilliant idea. And it was just a great layout of a map. I can't say there was much to improve except except take away the exosuits. This would have been a kind of cool map if they made like a remake not with exosuits and they made it like in Black Ops 3. Even though I know they won't because Treyarch and Sledgehammer aren't the same game making company. But I feel like it would be a cool idea because they already got the stairs in the middle so you don't need a double jump up there. And they could just change some things to make double jumping not necessary. And I feel like it would make for a really cool map. And so this is going to wrap up my top four zombie maps. Uh, I'm guessing most of you are going to disagree with my list which is great. Because now you can comment below your top four. And make sure you say how bad my lists are because I know nothing about zombies. Now I know something but I know you guys probably think I know nothing. So make sure you comment that below and make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this video and make sure you leave a like if you like this video. Pretty self-explanatory there with the subscribe and like thing and comment below of course your top four, what you hated about the video, what you liked about the video and especially ways I can improve my video because my goal is to make people happy by YouTube and of course if I can make my videos better and more entertaining well, I would like to do that, so you guys can have a chance to help me out by commenting that below. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.